Hello DC fans, this is JAR369. Welcome back for another figure re review. So today I'll be taking a look at the DC Batman the Cape Crusader Keen Shark by Spin Master. So let's take a look at the packaging here. So the packaging is just the usual Spin Master DC Batman packaging. You can see the window exposing the figure. And it does have the three surprises accessories inside, which is this one right here. You get like the little cut tab here. You can see his name. You get the little bat logo there on the back. It tells you which mission you're getting. So blah, blah, blah. That's about it for the packaging. Now let's release King Shark out of the package. Here we got King Shark out of the package. Now take a look at the figure here. Now, to be honest, I am I know this particular character from the um, from the Harley Quinn animated TV series and the um, the CW Flash series. So I have no idea why he has he looks like a hammer shark instead of the uh, normal normal shark that he was in both medias, which is kind of strange. I I have no idea. It is this the uh, the original? King Shark, where he transformed his normal shark head into into a uh, hammerhead shark. I mean, I know both a regular shark and a hammerhead shark are pre pretty much the are pretty much like separate sharks. So I just don't know. I just don't know know how he looks like like a hammerhead shark. If you guys do know, leave in the comments down below. Now let's take a look at the figure here. You can see like the little scars on each side of his neck, just like a normal shark does, an actual shark. And you can see another scar right there, including one on his chest with his crossed, you know, the crossed chest there. And since this is a like a male body figure, you can see his nipples are sculpted in. <laughs> well, that's hilarious. And you can see like the little six pack there and the more muscles there. And another scar there. You get like the little fins here on each side. You get like the little torn piece there on top of his pants here. On the back you see the little hole there. And there's like a little a fin. You know like an underwater like. Da -na, da -na, you know. You know what I mean. Nothing much on the legs here. Just plain black. But you can see like the more holes on each knees, which I have no idea why Spin Master didn't paint him the same skin color as his body or legs, whatever. You get like the little blue paint on each side of the arms, some polka dot paint as well. I'm pretty sure this represents the underwater that he's under in. I'm not, I have no idea. I don't know. There's another version, which is a Target exclusive version, where his pants is dark blue and doesn't have, like, the little blue, blue on his hands here. But this version is black. You see, take a look at the feet here. There's some toes there on here. And on the bottom, there's a serial number on his, on his right foot, and there's two pickles in the bottom of the feet as well. And also, there's a legal stub on his left leg. <sighs> Come on, Spin Master. You did a great job. So, overall, for the figure, it's not too bad. They did really not, not too bad of a job with the sculpt. The paint apps look really good. Overall, the figure itself looks really neat. For articulation, it's a bit different from the other DC Spin Master figures that I reviewed previously. Like, there's no head rotation here because this thing here is glued on. But there's a generic arm rotation that goes in and out. Bend at the elbows, rotate at the elbows, just like a an actual DC figures. Legs can kick forward and back, in and out. Upper leg rotation. And there's no knee, or there's no bend at the knee, just like the man bat figure that I reviewed. So yeah, the articulation is... It's a lot different than the um, other Batman figures that I reviewed. But I'm not sure if you could get in interesting possibilities with this figure, to be honest. 
Now, he does come with the checklist like every single Batman figures and DC figures comes with. Now, if you get the uh, King Shark from the um, from the uh, sewer showdown, you probably get the accessories with like the green cannon piece, the green whatever this is, and the blue blaster. But if you get the one from the rooftop revivals, you get a the same type of blaster and the same type of weapon, but in blue, and you get a different kind of weapon. But to me, I got the um, the, the sewer showdown of Batman with King, King Shark. Now take a look at the trading card. So it looks really good. The artwork looks really nice. Yeah, the trading card looks really good. On the back, just the cardboard. So yeah, nothing too special. It does come with the shoulder cannon here. As you can actually see there's a peg here and a peg for the hole. So let's put this here. Do, do, do. Come on. Yeah, I don't think I don't think I would display him with the um the cannon on his back because it looks like yeah, he's not gonna fire straight at Batman. So let's see if I rotate it, put it like this. Eh, sort of. You can actually make him shoot at Batman. It also does come with this other weapon. This similar weapon that we saw from the Batman figures. Which is a green. You can see like the little black marks there. So it does fit on each other hands here. Like so. And of course, finally he does come with this other weapon. Which is different from the actual instructions. Let me I'm not I'm not I'm gonna look at the instruction. I mean the checklist again. Cause I couldn't because in the uh Because if you look at the Sewer Showdown version of King Shark, which I have, you can see this same weapon is blue, but I have no idea why it's blue instead of, I mean, I have no idea why it's green instead of blue. Maybe a factory error or something. I don't know. This, this mystery remains unknown. Why we got a blue while the prototype gets the green. So let's... Put on the other hand here. Come on. There we go. And now you have King Shark ready to, to shoot at Batman. Yeah, this guy's packing. No kidding. And it's, he's a bit heavy with the, uh, the weapons that he's on. There we go. Nope. Okay. Nope. Nope. Maybe it'd be a good idea if I take this cannon on off of him. There we go. Maybe put him down. There we go. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's the his guns are a bit heavy. No, let's take them off without the weapons. There we go. So overall, for the figure itself, I really like it. Well, the articulation is a bit weak on this figure, but the accessories are just the same as the other Batman figures from the different Spin Master made before. The paint jobs is sort of okay, 
but I just think this is unfinished. I mean, like, where the jeans area here, because there's, like, some ripped on the knees area where the hole is. So, it's a really a, a decent figure. It's still a not bad figure, and I'm really happy to have this guy into my collection. Because I'm really excited to see this guy in the The Suicide Squad movie. And he was a funny in the, uh, the Harley Quinn TV animated series. So overall for this figure, I highly recommend getting this figure on clearance if it's on sale. Yeah, it's, I just feel like the figure itself is not really, like, you know, finished with the knees area as on there. Now for my rate, I'm going to give the, the Batman, the Cape Crusader, King Shark figure a, I'm going to give him a 7 out of 10 or a 7.5 out of 10. Yeah, a 7.5 out of 10 for me. So that's about it. Make sure to tune in for new videos daily. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video, share this video, and comment on this video. Don't forget to turn on the bell icon so you can be notified of new videos. After you subscribe, so you won't miss any new uploads. And you can be part of the notification squad. Finally, follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Both links will be in the description down below. That's all I can say. This is the... Batman, the Cape Crusader, King Shark figure by Spin Master. And this is JAR369. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you on the next review.